you know, nice to come in and get some work and finally get in, you know, somewhat of a game atmosphere and, and uh, you know, crank on it a little bit. Do you, you know, some guys need the adrenaline, the whole bit of, you know, a real game setting. Can you still get something significant out of that? I mean, beyond the physical work, maybe? Yeah, I think this was kind of part of the process, too, was, um, you know, being in a controlled environment, uh, you know, being able to roll innings and, you know, really just focus on the work that needs to be done, um, you know, the, the building up process. So, uh, yeah, you know, it's just nice to get back out there and, like I said, let a, let a couple go. How does your, your power and strength feel at this point compared to how it usually feels at this point in spring? I feel great. Um, you know, obviously we're taking it a little bit slower, you know, still working out some kinks, you know, in my delivery and, you know, finding my release point. And, you know, there's, there's definitely a, you know, process going on right now. And, uh, you know, we've, we've bought into it and we're, you know, we're going to ride it until, uh, until we get to March 28th. Can you, Can, you, Can you proceed without any thought to the shoulder at this point? Does it feel of like a normal spring or is there some acknowledgement that you've dealt with something at the end of last year? No, I, we've been full go yeah. since since I started throwing, obviously, honestly. Um, I think I started throwing right around December, uh, late November, right around Thanksgiving, just after that. Um, it was kind of a non-issue, honestly, because we, we knew what it was before mm -hmm. and we knew what we were dealing with and um, just needed some time to take off and got the time to take off and now we're rolling again. What's the difference this year in the approach as opposed to last year? Because things were slow, you know, slower than usual last year, mm -hmm. and you still only got to 158 innings. So what can you do this year to, to get to more innings, more starts? I think that was more addressed in the off season, just with, with the training program, mm -hmm. um, with the shoulder program, throwing program. Like I said, this was kind of a full circle off season for me with, with lifting, running, <clears> and, um, you know, training room stuff. So. Uh, I think I think all those things were kind of the build up to where we are now, and I think that's going to hopefully get us over the hump throughout the year and you know towards the end of the year. Is there anything with the change of your slider that you're hoping to work on after today? Uh, just figuring it out. I think with my delivery, that's that's kind of where I'm at. Is trying to just piece it all together, get it more uh, more fluid. I, you know, sometimes I was flying open a little bit. I think now I'm going to do a slider behind the first guy I face. So. Uh, and just, you know, just repetitions, you know, obviously the repetitions are a little bit lower. So, you know, the times I do get out there, I need to focus a little bit more on, you know, what needs to be done and, and doing things right. So, uh, you know, instead of doing it, you know, a hundred times, we're, we're not doing it as many times. So, like I said, just more, more focus when we're, where we're at doing what we're doing. Do they have a plan for you for the next one now? Is there a game? Um, not sure. I just know in, in five days I'll be pitching against somebody. Does it matter to you um, how many or if you pitch in a regular game here? No. I mean, I, I know once I step on a mound, regular season game, it's, it's going to be the same. You know, I, I don't want to sound like a, you know, an old man, but I've, I've done this a few times. So, you know, I'm not, I'm not too worried about once the, once the lights flick on. I, I know what I'm capable of, and I know once, those, once, that, once the adrenaline starts flowing, it's you know, any process is thrown out the window, and we, it's go time then. Did you get to everything today in terms of throwing everything? Yeah, through all my pitches. Um, I, think we were pre I think we were pretty firm on a 15 uh, per, inning. per inning pitch count. So, uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, this is all part of, part of the process of, of building <clears> up <throat> and being in a controlled environment, and um, you know, hopefully we can uh, keep progressing. I think you said before it's kind of hard for you not to throw 100% when you're, when you're on the mound. Are you trying to be more aware of that early this year? Yeah, I mean, I, even Dana came up to me today. He's like, we're going to, you know, we're going to let you know, if, you know, where you're at in terms of miles an hour just to see, just to not, you know, break over a threshold. Um, you know, you don't want to go from, you know, 20 to 110. You know, you, you got to hit every step, and I think that's, that's, Mainly, what we're focusing on is is the buildup. You know, you go from 20 to 30 to 40, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, we just don't want big gaps in between there. Did they tell you what you were hitting on the gun today? Uh, the, yeah, they did. What were you hitting? Don't worry about all that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep something from you guys. Make it fun. <laughs> Do you feel like there was more there if you needed it? Like if you, you know, if you needed to reach back for more, that there was more power that you weren't tapping into today? 
Yeah, I mean, I'm sure if, if I was in a situation where someone was like, hey, I need, we need you to do this. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it's, you know, we don't, we don't want to go from here to here. You know, we've we got to hit all the steps in between. And, um, you know, that's where we are, and we're rolling with it, and we'll see where we get. The last pitch was the double. That was your last pitch of the day. The one before that, did you throw that one harder? Do you remember? You owe two, and then you threw. It sounded loud. It was, uh, it was loud. just up. It was just up. It wasn't yeah. any harder. Catcher has a good glove. <laughs> yeah, that must be. He supplies all the power. There you go. Hey, Chris, um, you've been a guy in your career who's been pretty aggressively outspoken against PEDs. Um, how disappointed were you that one of your teammates were tested positive? It's tough. Um, you know, I don't want to get into it. You know, with, this is obviously a matter between us. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's something that we didn't obviously see coming up or see having to deal with. But um, you know, it happened. There's there's nothing you can do about it. Obviously, we wish we could change it, but um, it is what it is. You roll with the punches, and you, you you know you turn the page and keep moving. Is it something that you feel um, reflects badly on the team at all, or? Yeah, I mean it's it's. Like I said, we're 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 a group. You know, we win together, we lose together, and you know when things go bad, it's like, it's all on us. So, uh, like I said, it's it's obviously something that we didn't want to have to worry about. But yeah, you know, at the end of the day, there's there's, there's no going back on it. So um, you just put one foot in front of the other and try to make right by it and just keep moving.